welcome to Pack Got Today Live. My name is Erica Bischoff, and I'm the founder and leader of the Pack of Pack Got Today. So we are the Pack Got Today Foundation, and as I mentioned, my name is Erica Bischoff. Um, throughout the show, we welcome email questions at packcontact at packgotcheday.com. I will be checking my email frequently so I could take your questions. Um, and you can visit our website at petgotchaday.com. So thanks again for joining us. Last week you met my, one of my colleagues, Pac-Man Mike. He did a wonderful job and I want to thank him for his first time hosting the show by himself. Um, today it's just me and we've got a lot to talk about today. So before we get started, I want to show you some videos. Okay, okay, one. Um, let me just pull this up. Okay, so Pet Got Today is a pet adoption website. We're nationwide. We work with over 3,000 shelters and rescues, and we've got over a million pet videos on our site, and that's our point of differentiation. So we created this website to use video to get pets adopted. Pictures don't really tell you much. However, the pictures here show animals that are pretty darn cute, um, but video allows you to actually see their personality and allows the pet to put their best paw forward. So let's go ahead and let's sample a few of these. Um, let's see here. Oh, Rolly at the shelter. Let's see. So Rolly at the shelter. So when you click on their page, you get to see their picture. So Rolly is a Sharpay and, um, and Rolly is at the Friends of Campbell County Animal Control in Virginia. And let's watch Rolly's video. Over in the grass, come on. Let's go do the grass. <laughs> so I just love Verley's video. He was so cute just seeing him walk with all of his folds. I mean, you wouldn't get that just from looking at his picture. He's so adorable. Let's go take a look to see who else we have featured. Um, here's Yeti Jones. Let's see, Yeti is a Border Collie Australian Shepherd mix. And you can see how cute he is. So he's a youngster. And it looks like, oh, it looks like he was transported. So oftentimes, actually, before we go and to, to show him, um, oftentimes pets are located at shelters where they run out of room. There's not a lot of space. So one of the best solutions is, um, well, a couple things, actually. One, people can foster animals from any of these shelters and rescues. Or what they do is they go on a transfer so they can go from one shelter rescue to another either within the same state or a different state. It just depends on the transfer. So we were recently worked with a company um, and this is something that we help to facilitate is a transfer of some pets from a southern shelter up to, up to the Chicagoland suburbs just so they could go to a, a rescue where they have a chance um, with a foster home and they have a chance to find their forever family. So let's go back and let's look at Yeti. I love these eyes. What, you like this thing here, this big thing? Look, look at he's awful handsome, isn't he? <laughs> what is that, is that, a, is that a dog or a cat? It, it is a dog. Is it, what, what am I? He's probably gonna come steal your treat. Oh, that's okay, you can have look, it. Look, his beats are good. Um, so I'll, am I cute or oh, what? Oh, there we go, I'll drag oh, him in. You're just mean lady. You're guys. just. <laughs> Not, look, at, look how sweet I am. <laughs> you are amazing. I mean, it doesn't get much truly, cuter than this. Truly amazing. I know. We just love you. Um, so I'm never gonna do anything wrong in my life? Oh, I think maybe one once or twice. I'm probably gonna pee on your shoe. Oh, oh I dropped it. <laughs> it's all right. I'm well trained. This is funny, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so, wicked. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> it's okay. This oh. is a really fun game. I like it, it, that. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, we lost part of it. Um, so, did you see how much fur is back here? There is fur. There's, I mean, there's a fur. That got short. 
So as you can see from Yeti's video um, that you wouldn't get just from his picture, so if you just look at his picture, you just see his cute face. But from the video, you are able to see how calm Yeti is and for being a youngster too, and how friendly. Another dog came up to Yeti and Yeti just kind of sniffed that other dog. And Yeti also played nicely with that stuffed duck, which that duck was pretty cute too. And the people were able to pet him. And on Pet Gotcha Day, you get to see all sorts of pet videos. We've got dogs, cats, birds, bunnies, horses, snakes, spiders, you name it, and you get to see videos. Um, and within the videos, you either hear some commentary, like in Yeti's case, where you um, heard the foster family or the people that were at the shelter provide commentary on that particular pet, or we've got some fun music, which you'll get to see. And our site houses both standard video, so think your basic cell phone videos, or um, it can house 360 degree videos. And that's one of the things that I want to talk Playing about 360 today. 360 degree Oops. videos. My phone got excited by 360 degree videos. So we're one of the few sites out there that can actually host this. So 360 degree videos, it's a form of virtual reality technology. So what it does, we film using a camera like this. This is a Ricoh Theta and it has two spherical lenses on it. And I will, I will show this to you. So here's the camera, it's got two spherical lenses. And what this does is, so when we're at a shelter or rescue, we place this on a tripod. So, and it's a very sturdy camera. Oh, and my phone's getting very excited by this. Like oh. leather, skin is stronger. <laughs> It's funny, I got very excited by 360 degree videos too. Um, but I just have this here to take questions. Um, but, so with the camera, what we do is we put it on a tripod and we film pets in their natural environment. So um, last week we showed several 360 degree videos. And what's cool about this versus a standard video, so when you saw Yetis, the video took you on the journey. You just watched Yeti sit there and get pet. But with this camera, it's great for active environments. So I like to go down to Chicago Animal Care and Control, which is Chicago's open access facility. And I like to film the animals there. I take them out of their cages and into the play yards and I set up this video and I just let them play ball. And so when you're viewing it, either on your phone or on the computer, um, Either way, you get to follow along and you actually move the screen so you can actually see um, where they're going. So if I throw a ball and a dog goes to chase it, you can actually use your phone, your camera, your, your mouse right here to grab the screen and move it so you follow along. So I call it your own choose your Here's own what adventure. I found on the web. All right, this phone is uh, getting too excited about this. Here is some information about mobile phone. Okay, I'm going to put that down. I'll take questions later from the pack contact email address. It's pretty funny. Um, so what's cool, so you get to go and follow that pet. So it feels like you're there in their environment while they're playing fetch. It feels like you're chasing the animal with them. One of my other favorite places to go to is Harmony House for Cats right in Logan Square in the city. It's an open cat room. So when you walk in, there's cats everywhere in the room. So I set up the camera and I just film the room. So that way, if I want to look at this you know, gray tabby cat here, I can turn and look at that cat right there, or there could be an orange cat playing in a bag. I can go look that way. I can look up, down, all around, and it captures the whole room, so it feels like you're right there. So, in addition to viewing on your phone or the computer, you can also view using a Google Cardboard, and this one is branded Pet Gotcha Day. Here's a video. It's really hard to see with the lights here, but it's got our nice logo on here. These are very, very inexpensive to, um, to purchase. Um, we give them away as well. And all you have to do is you put your phone in the inside right here. So I'm going to grab my phone back. Hopefully it doesn't start talking to me. You put it in. Well, you get the video all queued up. You put it in here and then you hold on to this like it's glasses and you just kind of look and you follow the video around and it feels as if you're actually there. So what you want to do is when you use one of these virtual reality viewers, when you put it on, you want to actually stand up because what's going to happen is you're going to be virtually transported to that pet. So you just don't want to go like this. If there's a pet behind you, you literally need to turn around and look at that pet. And it's very, it's fun, it's very immersive. And we've had several success stories on our website from the 360 technology. There was a dog, Darwin, that I personally, um, I took in as a foster. He had been sitting at um, a high-risk shelter 
and for about three months and he was just sitting there not getting any attention. So what I did is I brought him home. I trained him as a foster family. Um, I trained him and then filmed him using the 360 degree videos and put him on the Pet Gotcha Day website. And I would say I had him about three days before I filmed him and he was adopted the same day. So he was posted on the Pet Gotcha Day website and adopted the same day. So think about this. This dog, he was a German Shepherd lab mix sitting at a high risk shelter for about three months comes to my house, I film him, and he gets adopted the same day. And it doesn't have to just be me with experience with this camera. We've had other um, experiences as well. So we've got shelters and rescues nationwide that use 360 video. I mean, even if you don't have access to one of these cameras, even using your cell phone to take a video is better than nothing. And it gets posted, and we've received feedback that, actually from one local rescue, that there was a dog that actually had been returned twice. And then there are third time's the charm, I like to think, and that particular adopter found this particular dog on Pet Gotcha Day and had seen the video and knew exactly this dog's personality and temperament before even going to the shelter. And the, it was a perfect match. And we received a note from the shelter saying, you know, we finally found the perfect home and we know that this dog's going to have their forever home, which is exactly what we strive to achieve. We want to use modern technology to innovate and improve the adoption process so that way we can bring these pets to life for people at home. Okay, so that's one option and we can continue talking about this in future weeks, but I want to get back to what you really want to see, which are more videos. Um, so last, every week we do a poll. Um, Mike, Pac-Man Mike and myself, we each pick a pet and we post it on, fa on Facebook um, to see which pet you prefer. I mean, I know we like all the pets, but it could be a pet that you feel that you relate to better or you just think is cuter. And what we do is the pet that wins, we make a donation to that particular shelter or rescue. So let's see, last week we had, whoops, we had bunnies, just very timely for Easter. and. Um, I picked a bunny named Martin, which is this cutie pie down here, this little white one. He kind of looks like the Cadbury bunny. And I'm going to go ahead and show you Martin's video. He's just so cute, just kind of sniffing around. He just looks so fluffy and furry. I just thought I could just hold on to him. In fact, I wish I had him on the set with me right now um, so that way I could just hold him and pet him and he just looks absolutely adorable. Now, Mike picked a bunny named Richard. So let's go back and let's look at Richard. Oh, wrong one. So Richard is this cute bunny, this multicolored bunny right here. So let's let's watch Richard's video. And I like last week Mike talked about how Richard's doing what bunnies do. And he's just hanging out, hopping around. Um, you know, this is the kind of bunny that could be perfect for a home that's just looking for like a low-key pet. With animals like this, I like, actually like to do yoga. I just find it so relaxing to do yoga next to them because they just hang out next to you or maybe hop around like through your arms. Um, and it's just very therapeutic. This is the kind of bunny that would also be great just to pet. And he looks so soft and cute too. And he likes treats. So that's Richard. So um, from the poll, Richard actually won with 62% of the votes. Um, so Richard's rescue, which is the Fur Angels Animal Sanctuary right here in Illinois in Aurora, they're going to be getting a Pecacha Day donation, so we'll be sending that to them. It's very exciting. So now I want to show you this week's poll. So we went back to dogs, but we decided to pick local, local pets. So these dogs at this point in time may or may not be adopted. They are showing as available on the website, but you never know. They could get adopted today, could have gotten adopted yesterday. Um, but what's important is, so if you see these pets and you're, and you're interested and, and you like them, you can contact these shelters or, or rescues because they've got other pets in need too. All right, so let's look at this week's poll. So I picked a dog named Clyde, whoops, 
the dog named Clyde. We already have actually some votes in. Um, Clyde is, let's actually go to Clyde's profile. So Clyde is at a rescue called Famous Fido Rescue, and I've, I've been there, and the founder of Famous Fido has the best heart in the world. She goes and she takes some of the hardest cases from Chicago Animal Care and Control and other shelters and brings them over to her facility where she works with the animals, tries to rehab them, and get them adopted out. Um, they're located right on Irving Park Road in Chicago, and I actually had the pleasure of meeting Clyde, and this video is actually 360 degrees, so you can get an, you can get an idea of Clyde. Um, Clyde actually, just like in the movie, um, does come as a bonded pair with a Chihuahua named Bonnie, um, who was amazing as well. And if you go on the Pecachete website, you can see Bonnie's video. But let's watch Clyde. And as you can see in this 360 video, whoops, in this 360 video, um, you, it will say on top when they're 360, and it just says click and drag the image with your mouse to look up, down, and all around. So that's what we're going to do. And actually, I, I didn't click over fast enough so you, for you to see this cutie. Look how cute he is. He's been at Famous Fido for a, a long time now, and I met him, and he's so sweet. He was all kisses, all just sweetness. So let's watch his 360 video. So the sound's me actually muted right now, so you can hear me talk. But look, here's me actually petting him. And I'm grabbing the screen so I can follow him as he walks. It's fun just to be able to see where he goes. He likes to explore. Oh, look. See, look. And here's Bonnie. There's his other half. So you can, like, move around to see which dog you want to follow. Um, but let's, let's watch one more time. Let's go back. So you can see the two of them on the couch together. Just very sweet couch potatoes. Um, they, they just need a home together so bad. And I actually have two dogs. I like having two. So getting a bonded pair is actually a pretty good deal because they're already friends and they love each other. Okay, so that is Clyde. And again, Clyde is at Famous Fido right here in um, Chicago. And our other featured pet is um, a dog named Ada. And she is from um, Forget Me Not, which is a private rescue out in the suburbs. I had the pleasure of meeting her as well. She is actually a one-eyed um, mixed breed Chicago dog. And I had to I have a soft spot for these kind of dogs. But what I found so fun about her is when I met her and I got a chance to play with her, actually Mike got to um, play with her too. She could catch a ball better than most dogs with two eyes. She just, um, dogs have this very innate ability to overcompensate for anything. So if a dog has three legs, if they're a tripod, they can, they can act as if they have four. Um, a dog with one eye can end up seeing just as great because they overcompensate with their other senses. Um, but let's go ahead and meet Ada. Uh, who also, by the way, was wonderful. My daughter came with me to this event and they loved each other. So let's meet Ada. Oh, Ada loved belly rubs. The computer's being a little bit slow right now, but so she loved belly rubs. She loves attention. If you see this fuzz, she does love to tear apart toys, but I think it's so cute because she's just having a good time. Lots and lots of energy. Very, very friendly to people. Very friendly to other dogs. We had other dogs at this particular event that we hosted because this is what we do too is we like we don't just showcase them on our website. We like to host events um, at local businesses. So if you're interested, you can contact us as well at packcontact at packachaday.com and we can arrange um, to have an adoption event with you. You can see her coloring. She's got very, very pretty coloring. And I'm sorry, I don't know if the internet's being a little bit slow right now, but just a super sweet girl. So what we'd love for you to do right now is to jump on Facebook, follow Pet Gotcha Day. Um, it's three separate words, P-E-T, G-O-T-C-H-A-D-A-Y. And if you click us and view our page, you can just scroll down and see the poll and vote. And
then either Famous Fido or Forget Me Not will receive a donation. Um, and we are on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram. Please follow us because what we do is we share pets and um, on there, adoptable pets, and you can help us actually find homes. It's great that they're on the website here, but the website's only as good as people jumping on to look at it, but you can make a difference. If you see a pet on Facebook, you can share it that you think, um, you know, you're, that you just think should find a home and maybe somebody in your network will be interested. The other thing that you can do is when you go on our site, so let me go back here. So let's just say you like Martin. You can go on here, you can share Martin's profile on Facebook, on Twitter, or you can email it to somebody that you think might be interested in this particular pet. Um, we all have to work together to help, help these pets find homes. We can't do it alone. And there's so many pets, not just here in Chicago and throughout the state of Illinois, but across the whole country. And our aim is to help um, everybody find the pet that really belongs to them, um, that should be theirs, and not to let these borders um, actually stop the adoption process. Um, working together, we can share across the nation. And we actually work with a pet transport company that if the shelter or rescue is open to an out-of-state adoption, we can help facilitate that at no charge to the shelter or rescue or to the adopter. I think love should transcend any ge geographical boundaries and this is what we want to do. So, we talked about that. Um, I wanna actually take a moment to take some questions because actually a couple came in before the show even started. And let me just pull it up. So we did have a question from um, somebody named Lester, and what he wanted, actually this is a very timely question, he said, how does interacting with Pet Gotcha Day on Facebook and other social media outlets help get the word out for animals in need of adoption? Well, we just addressed that because you can share these pets. Also, we do also like to share some funny things too. So not just these cute animal videos, but also funny cartoons, just anything that kind of comes to our mind that we think that you will like. Um, so that's why. We recommend that you follow us. Okay, so the other um, thing that I wanted to bring up is that we do need volunteers. Um, so we are a pet adoption website, but we also get into the community to help shelters and rescues through filming with 360 degree cameras or even standard videos. So if you want, we could pair you up with shelters or rescues so you can go in there and you can make a difference either through walking pets, playing with cats, filming them. Um, there's a whole myriad of ways. We need help with our social media. You could help um, volunteer with Pet Gotcha Day directly. Um, grooming. Um, I've seen cats come in with just a lot of matted fur and it takes it takes a loving groomer to go and help clean up that particular cat so they um, are just ready to be adopted. Training, training is very important. There's a lot of pets that just are wonderful pets that just don't know how to be a family pet yet. But with training and love, they, they get there. Um, I've taken in several that have been like that, that just with some TLC and some training, they absolutely become um, a treasured pet. Um, and we can take whatever skill set you have and apply it. Um, so if you're interested, you can go to um, you can email us at patcontact at patgotchaday.com. Um, go to our website at patgotchaday.com. And again, my name is Erica Bischaff. Um, I'm just going to check one more time to see if any other questions came through. Um, not yet. Um, so it looks like we just had two for the day. Um, I also want to, I came across this very cute picture that I just want to show you before we sign off of Boots and Mikey. These are two cats that are from, um, let me see, here we go, that are from Colorado, and I just thought that this was adorable, how they sit together, they love each other, and look at their tails, it makes a cute heart shape. Um, I had to share this with you, I'm going to be putting this on Facebook as well. Um, the last thing that I'd love to do, since we have just one more moment, is I want to show you just something cute. This is actually my daughter experimenting with um, with 360 degree videos. Um, using this headset, again, we put up a video on the phone, put it in the headset, and this is her um, having some fun. Oh, it's, let's see. let's see. Let's see, how do we rotate this? Can we rotate it? Oh, looks like it doesn't want to rotate, but you can just kind of see her. 
following these pets all around, I think that she was looking at a dog. And so as you can see, although it is sideways here, um, you know, she's just looking and following these pets and just enjoying and feeling like she's right there so we can play one more time. I just think it's so adorable because she's literally looking and trying to walk towards these pets. Okay, so this is about, we're out of time for today. If you um, have any questions, again, whoops, you can reach out to us at patcontact at patgotchaday.com or visit us on our website. We love to hear any feedback that you have. If you've got anything you'd like to bring up, please, um, we, all, we always just want to improve our offering to shelters and rescues. And then we'll sign off with um, one of my favorites. So this is my adopted dog, Piper. Um, she's a Great Dane mix that I actually found on Pet Gotcha Day. And I love to say, see you next week and have a Great Dane. Bye.